Thank you to both Generations United and the Eisner Foundation for this invitation to address you today. We know that in this time of crisis, our families, especially our children and our seniors, are facing immense challenges. The need to support each other and safely form connections within our communities has never been more important. In the past, in times of trouble, older generations have looked to younger generations for inspiration and joy, and younger generations have also looked to their elders, their older relatives or others, for wisdom and care and love. However, during this crisis, these two generations are being kept apart from one another. While that separation may be for good reasons in the middle of a public health crisis, we are losing an essential exchange of thoughts and ideas uh, between and among those Americans. Just one example from my work in the Senate, uh, back in 2018, I remember specifically a visit to the Ben Salem Senior Senator in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. Each year that center holds an intergenerational art exhibit displaying artwork from seniors and students across the community. It was heartwarming to see the joy that art had brought to ben, that Ben Salem community. Art is just one example of the ways that generations can engage one another. And this engagement, especially through intergenerational shared sites, helps us to strengthen our communities. That's why Senator Jones of Alabama and I advocated for language that would prioritize funding within the Older Americans Act to support intergenerational engagement, including the development of shared sites. Now that language fortunately made it into the final bill, the reauthorization of the Older Americans Act, and that was signed in March uh, of, of this year. But we've got to do more than that. We must continue to support our ever-changing communities and actively foster environments that pro promote education and understanding for young people while decreasing, decreasing social isolation that seniors experience far too often. Addressing the pandemic head-on must be part of that initiative. We need a big, bold plan to tackle the virus and get our country back on its feet. We have a lot of work to do together, and I look forward to working with you on those challenges. But I do want to thank you for your work, and I thank you especially for your commitment to intergenerational engagement. May God bless your work. Thank you.